Good morning, children. In our last class, we learned the change of state of matter. Okay, matter can be the matter can change its states into another state. Next, today we are learning water cycle. Water cycle. Let us see water cycle and see. In nature, water is found in three states, which are the solid, liquid, gas. Solid state, ice. Liquid state, water. And gaseous state, water. Vapor. Water can be in three states. Solid, liquid, gas. Liquid, water. Solid, ice, gas, water, vapor. All of you remember this in your mind. And see, in nature, in water bodies, in lakes, in rivers, in ponds and all, what is there? Water is there. Then, what happens to this water when there is sun? Ah, due to the heat of sun, the water in the water bodies evaporates. Evaporation taking place. Due to evaporation, what will happen to the water? The liquid state of water changes into water vapor. Look at the board all of you. And here you can see in lakes, ponds and all water is there. And when the water heated, it starts to evaporate. When it gets the heat of the sun, the water changes into water vapor. This is called what? Evaporation. Okay. The water in lakes, ponds, rivers and seas is Heated by the sun. Due to heating, water changes into water vapor. This is called evaporation. Due to heating, water changes into water vapor called evaporation. And the water vapor rises and reaches at height. And the water vapor mixes with dust and other things present in air and get cooled to form clouds and it form clouds okay then this water vapor rises up because water vapor has less weight okay and so it rises up and it mix up with air and dust and it become cool then condensation taking place this is called Condensation. Tanukkan dodangam. E water vapor tanukkan dodangam. Cloud and dodangam. It change into the water vapor changes into cloud. And see the water drops start becoming bigger and heavier. When they become too heavy they fall down as rain. And see then after condensation. Uh, water drops are forming and the small, small water drops join together and become heavier. And when they become too heavy, they fall down as rain. Again, this rain water fills the water bodies like rivers, ponds and lake. Then again evaporation taking place, clouds forming, condensation. Again rain. This is a repeated process in the form of a cycle. So this is called water cycle. What it is called? Water cycle. What it is called? Water cycle. And due to this we have rain. Okay. Due to water cycle we have rain. Once again listen. The water in the water bodies. Get heated by the heat of the sun. 
it starts to evaporate then what forms water vapor and this water vapor mix up with the dust and the cold air it rises up and forms clouds and when the clouds become bigger that are rain clouds and when the uh, droplets of water forming the droplets join together and form big big heavy drops of water and when it is too heavy it they fall down as rain and this rain again fills up the water bodies again evaporation taking place this is a repeating process and this is called a water cycle understood what is water cycle it is given in this page then let us see the uses of water you know uh, uses of water solids wood is used for making furniture sorry uses of not uses of water uses of matter matter means things not uses of water uses of matter what is matter as yes. matter is a thing a uh, matter thing and matter is made up of what molecules we learn and let us see the uses of matter wood solids wood is used for making furniture houses and many other decorative things then iron iron is used for making gates grills and utensils plastic is used for making toys containers and many other things most food items like bread cake and oil are solids so one state of matter solid then next liquids water is used for drinking bathing washing cooking and all then next we drink milk and juices petrol and diesel are used as fuel in vehicles shampoo is used for washing hair all these are liquid forms of matter so solid forms we are using liquid forms we are using then gas gases all the animals and plants need oxygen to breathe we need oxygen to live that is a gas and plants need carbon dioxide to make food carbon dioxide is a gas that we breathe out then lpg liquefied petroleum gas is used for cooking food ee lpg aanu nammada gas cylinder ille what we are using at home in the kitchen there is gas cylinder you might have seen that is this lpg so lpg gas we are using to cook our food so these are the uses of what matter okay so we learned uh, we finished our lesson today we learned water cycle due to water cycle we have rain okay and learned the uses of matter okay so we finished our lesson okay wish you all the best for your exam